Group 2 Hydroxides by ACE Academia. Okay, so first let's have a look at the Group 2 Hydroxides general formula. So let's just say that M is our Group 2 metal, and this is in the solid form. And so we add water to our Group 2 metal, either in the liquid or gaseous state, depending on the reactivity of our Group 2 metal. And after the reaction, we get the hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Now we have two hydroxide ions for each metal cation in the group two, because our group two metal has a two plus charge, and our hydroxide only has a one minus. So we're going to need two hydroxides to cancel out that two plus charge on the group two metal to create a neutral compound. And now our group two hydroxide is in the aqueous state. Next, we have to understand what lattice empathy is. Now, we don't have to know too much about lattice empathy, just what it is and how it relates to some of the properties of our hydroxides. So, lattice empathy is the energy required to break up an ionic lattice. So, if we have an ionic lattice, lattice empathy is the energy required to break this ionic lattice up into its components. So, solubility of hydroxides. Solubility of the group 2 hydroxides increases as you go down the group. So, radium is more soluble, um, radium hydroxide is more soluble than calcium hydroxide, and calcium hydroxide is more soluble than beryllium hydroxide. Now, we have to understand why. Why does the solubility of our group 2 hydroxides increase as we go down the group? So, first, as you go down the group, ionic radii increases, and this is because of the increasing number of energy levels. So if this was our beryllium ion, you can see that it has a larger ionic a smaller ionic radius than our barium ion. So as you go down the group, our ionic radii increases. Now, all of our group 2 ions have a 2 plus charge because they all have two outer electrons which need to be removed in order to gain that positive ion and react with the hydroxide. And because of this, charge density decreases down the group as the ions increase in size. And you can see this by if barium ions have a 2 plus charge, that 2 plus charge is spread out around this entire ion. Whereas if beryllium or magnesium has a 2 plus charge, that 2 plus charge it only has to be spread out around this tiny space. So it's more charge dense. And as charge density decreases down the group, the metal cations can't hold on to their hydroxide ions so strongly. So magnesium, for example, is quite charge dense, meaning that its attraction to the um, negative hydroxide ion is much stronger than if barium, for example, was going to try attract these hydroxide ions. So, the less strongly the cations hold onto the hydroxide ions, the lower the lattice empathy. So here is our um, concept from earlier on, the energy required to break up an ionic lattice. So there is a lower lattice empathy as the cations hold onto the hydroxide ions less, because it would take less energy to remove the hydroxides because they're attracted to the metal cations less. The lower the lattice empathy, so the less energy required to break up the structure, the higher the solubility, as it takes less energy to break the hydroxides from the metal cation. 
So, this also relates to pH because pH of the hydroxide solution increases as the solubility increases. And